fellow who's in who's a, a trader I know named Jason from New Zealand said he waited 21 days for USD chief to line up 21 days. A loss is not a loss, it is a lesson. For me, for the two best Forex indicators are patience and consistency. Patience equals pip, consistency equals cash. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to my chart. I'm gonna show you guys how I analyze a chart. This is Euro JPY. I've been on this pair for two weeks. I've probably made uh, almost $3,000. I start at the weekly time frame. This is what I do first. I go to the weekly. You see the triple arrows, and you probably say, "Oh, it's buying, James. It's buying." If you understand how this how trends work, I draw this line. Now, I'm gonna unmute everybody. Does it look like it's buying to you guys now? Does Does this pair look like it's still buying? Nope. Exactly. Guys, it's all about trend line bounces and trend line breaks. The trend line. A, hey, keep it, keep it, keep it down a little bit. The, 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 it's, it, is, it is all about trends. It is all about what the, what the market is doing at these trends. This thing has been sold all, all this time, right? And what do we have here? Let me, let me, uh, what do we have here? We have price bouncing off the trend line, going down to make that first stair. So what do I do next? I go and draw support and resistance. My shape here, I use the triple arrow system as confirmation. Here is a zone. It is a zone. It is a zone right across. Let me make this look. Right across here. I'm going to zoom back out. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about in a minute. Draw this zone here. And I'm going to draw a zone up top. Well, my, 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 actually, let me, do, let me do this. Let me fix this. And draw this zone here. I'm okay, we go. Here, across this way a little bit. This quarter resistance, man, trend line bounces and trend line breaks will make you a better trader than the model. That's just right. There we go. Get that across there. Put it out the way. Then I'm gonna draw another zone up top. You see my screens, the, the arrows give me directional support. That's it. I don't, I don't use the triple arrows to enter trades. I use them for directional support. They are great at that. I'm gonna zoom in and show you what, let me, uh, let me unmute you guys again, because I, oh my, where did it go? I'm going to mute you guys again. So everybody can see. Oh, everybody can see my support. There was just some areas, right? Yeah. Okay. You see on the weekly. The weekly, people have heard me say this and they kind of and they kind of you know laugh at me. When you want advice or wisdom, who do you talk to? Somebody older than you or somebody younger than you? Somebody older than you? Exactly. The weekly time frame is like my grandfather. The, the 15 to 30 in an hour, I don't even look at them. They're kids to me. I don't talk to kids when I want wisdom. I talk to somebody who's been here longer than me. The weekly time frame gives me, gives me the big picture. It shows everything that's been going on, well, my fault, with this pair. Let's look at this, Euro JPY. Price came down, tested this area, it went back up. If we go back, you can see where price bounced off this area. So it went in, came out, came up, came back down, went in, came out, went in. It's all about respecting these zones, respecting these zones. 
So let's get a little closer to, closer to the price. So now we know, and it's set right here in this area for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the seventh week. It didn't break this area for seven weeks. When you see the when you see the market doing that, that means that the that the market makers are storing up money for a big move. They need our money to make money. Banks are not our friends. We all know that. So I decided, let me think like a market maker. In past video, the market makers are patient. The market makers are consistent. So I'd rather sit on my hands for two weeks than lose my money. You guys agree with that, right? Yeah. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna I, and I, and I drop down to the daily time frame. Because I'm gonna get a little closer, closer to the price. You see, what I do is I draw another trend line. Right. All I do, guys, is draw trend lines. Now, I got in this trade up here earlier, and I got out here. I made about two about about two thousand dollars. Not bragging, just telling you what I what I did. But what happened today? Price broke the trend line, the counter trend line, and it broke past the 50 moving average. Let me tell you what price is probably gonna do next. See this zone right here? See so that cross there where that all these dots are? So this right. is what price is, price is gonna do next week. It's going, it's going to test here, retest, and drop. And drop. People, people think I'm a this is not rocket science. This is not cancer. You want to know? Say it again? Uh, you were talking to someone else. Oh, okay. It's, it's, it's all about trend line. I keep saying it. It's about patience, support and resistance, trend line bounces, and trend line breaks. Okay? When I see the triple arrow show up, especially on the on David time frame, I'm looking for a big move now. I'm, look, I'm looking for a big move. Right now, I trade the weekly. I either, I, whatever direction the time frame is going, that's where I'm going. I think about the weekly time frame as a great white shark. You guys see the shark week on all the animal planets. When you see those sharks, who's swimming alongside of those sharks? You got smaller <laughs> fish. That's us, the retail traders. I don't swim against the great white shark. I did it, I lost my money. Okay? So, I mean, this is what I draw on my on my charts. I could take off. Let me do this. I could take off all of this. I could take off all the SR dots. I see on the screen. I learned how to trade with the 50 moving average. That's it on trading view. Everything's gone, right? I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna do it again. I'm, I'm gonna draw the same trend line. I know this thing is, is, is buying, was, was going to be buying because those, those who, 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 know, who know price action, the market structure, that will buy it. Exactly. When you see this right here, this is a reversal pattern. And especially when you see this low, it keeps going up. It keeps higher going lows up. and higher highs. Right? Exactly. It's a trend line. So, but we don't know how far it's going. It's going. You know, it's going to drop. That's the whole thing. Nice. You, you just don't. You just don't know. You can draw your support and resistance. If it if it if it breaks here, it's going to keep falling. If it, it, it it could break this and fall all the way back down here. You just don't know. But you want to be trading in the direction that the weekly time frame is going. Here, people say, "Man, I, I you know my account is you know, it's been blown." I said, well, where is the weekly going? It's it's buying. Well, you, I'm selling. The people are they selling. I said, you're going against the great white shark. You're going against the big boys. Why trade against them? Trade with them. Get the weight. And we see up, let me see up here on the on the well, them time frame. Weekly. This see, this, this, this is the weekly, double bottom. When price breaks this counter trend line on, on, the, on the weekly, it's gone. It's going. It's it's going to be buying. 
but it, it, it's, it's gonna do this. It's gonna of course go up and down. And, oh, hold on, give me a minute. Okay, that's what it's gonna be. Doing. It's, it's gonna buy for a while. Another another pair that I that I was that I was in was uh. One second, is take this off. <coughs> This is the this is this is the weekly on AUD USD. I'm gonna do the same thing. Some people, some people said, "Oh, James, it's 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 uh well, this thing is actually a broken kind of trend line." Coming back to you know to retest it. So we have triple arrows. I go to I go to the weekly first. When I see triple arrows on the weekly, I'm playing up the master game. That's it. I will wait till price gets to that, basically gets to that trend line. That's what it's doing. I'm gonna draw the trend line right here. I'm gonna take off. I'm gonna make it bigger. So now we're right at price, right? You see how price has gone up? Test the trend line. It's broken this one and it's pulling back to it. The buy is coming again on AUD USD. We should get weekly dots very, very soon. Probably by the end of next week. So, because when it breaks that trend line, it's just going to retest and it's going to uh, keep that's, going. And that is all it's going to do. That is right. all it's going to do. That's and it. you got double bottom too off the week. Double bottom. I'm a, and I'm a, I'm about to draw it right now. As the and all the double bottom is, is is the M's and W's. That's all it is. If anybody knows me, whatever resources I have, you can have for free. I got all kinds. Kind of free free stuff. Here's a double bottom right there. Market structure, uh, 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 bearish flags, bullish flags, pennants. That's how I trade. I just use the super easy system to confirm what I'm looking at. That's it. That is all I'm doing. People say, I'm doing this. I say, I appreciate it. I didn't make anything up. I start with the weekly. The weekly is the big dog. I'm not gonna fight the big dog. I can't do it. So this is what I look at. So now, who can ask my question? So what am I waiting on now for this to start buying? Can anybody answer that question? The daily dog. Like Sorry. You waiting on the first stair? Well, yes and no. This is what I'm. This is what I do now. I drop down to the daily time frame. Right. You can see. We have triple arrows, it's been selling. This is this is this is this is what I do. Remember, I told y'all it's all about let me do this. Let me, get off the screen. Let me go back to here. Wait on it, wait on trend line bounce. I'm waiting on trend line bounce. That's it. Let me try the trend line. Let me do this. Delete this. Delete this. Draw those trend lines, guys. Draw I'm gonna draw the, gonna draw the trend line on the daily time frame. Watch this. I'm drawing all. I'm drawing all the way down the screen. Zine, give me one minute, man. Give me, give me, give me one minute. So, if you're waiting on AUD USD to start to start buying, what are you looking for? Trend line break. That's it. If you if you waiting on this pair to buy, man, let it let it sell. It's not you want to. You don't want to get in this pair right now. Let it sell. It's going to get down here, stall out, and when it breaks this trend line and retest, you're looking for, you, you're looking for bulls now to get in the market. It's time to buy you. Just draw your trend lines. Use the dots. Use the arrows. Draw those trend lines. It is not ready to buy until it breaks the counter trend line. That's it. That is, that is, that is my style in a nutshell. Start at the weekly, go in the direction of the weekly, but don't get in the trade if the move is already happening. If you if you missed the move, you missed the move. There are other moves you're going to get. When I when I trade, let me, let me go back. Let me go. Uh, I trade zone, weekly zone to weekly zone. So I'm looking to be in this trade all the way down here. I used to do the the, the, the daily dot method. It, it didn't it, it didn't you know it didn't work for me. Those weekly zones are hard to break. They are very hard to break. I started trading weekly to weekly. 
talking about two, three hundred, four hundred pit moves. The 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 thing that people have a problem with, with trading that way is they don't want to wait. They want to be in the market every day. I'm in the market every day. It's just going for two or three weeks. I'm not watching my screen all day. I'm not trying to catch a couple of pips. I'm looking for I'm looking for monthly money. That's it. So, okay. What's the question? Uh uh Kazine. Got a question? Let me do this. Hold on one second. Hold on. Let me go to uh Kazim. No. Name is I guess he's gone. Or it's friend. Someone uh, someone wants to know if the class is recorded. Oh, you know what? Apologies, just bad. I don't I don't know. It's my first time doing this. But I will I will do oh that's Zane right there. But I will do it over again on YouTube and I will post it. Okay. So yes, go ahead. Who is this? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Um, James? Yes, yes, go ahead. Who's this? Yes, this is Liz. Yes, yes, go ahead, Liz. And uh, I'm just happy to be in your class. I've been winning trades since I've been listening to you, so I'm happy. Wonderful. Yes, hey, um, let me tell you guys. Question. Yeah, I'm, yeah. okay, hold on. Let me, let me try to, turn, okay. Okay. Actually, okay, go, go ahead. My question is, I'm working on now uh, taking the arrows off because I've been doing good with that and just... Right. Uh, trying to uh gauge the trade without the arrows then putting the arrows in after right so are you using the auto trend line to see when you're at the bottom or at the top you know just before you do the um before you do the analysis without all of the decoration you know the arrows and right. the dots so uh, i wanted to know how to start that analysis from scratch just with a naked chart and then the naked chart mm -hmm. um with a naked chart, and for some reason, auto trend lines won't won't come off the screen. I don't know. I don't know why. I, I do. So you can just do this right here. Let me let me let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do this. It's still about support and resistance. Uh, for the auto trend lines, I was in Pat, Mr. Pat's class, and he said you have to double click on them. They won't come off unless you oh. double click on them. All the three lines, I'll then it'll come off. Okay. Let me let me do an analysis with with out them on with nothing on, on the screen. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get them out. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. I never do that. That's news to me. Okay. All right. Let me do this. Let me delete that. Okay. All right. So this is, a, this, is a, this is how I learned to trade, okay? So you want to zoom out as far as you can, right? Weekly, weekly time, I'm just going to draw support and resistance best I can try to catch the, the you just, the, mm -hmm. support and resistance is not exact science because there's actually, you know, zones, right? You're just right. trying to catch the, you're just trying to catch the reversal areas as best yeah. you can. That's all I'm doing. So we let me do this. So we get we get closer, and you can see where price. See how, how it touched there and bounced off. Yes. And fell and then broke through and touched here. That's all I'm doing. I'm, I'm just trying to see where it touched. Okay. That's it. That's okay. it. And let, and let, let me show y'all something. Who was on the Who was on Euro JPY? And oh, let me say this, let me say this also. The the news, I could give a flip about the news. I give a, I could give, when you trade like this, the news means absolutely nothing to me. I'm a, and I'm going to tell you why. Because, like that even says, the news is absorbed by the daily candles. My stop loss on average is about 60 pips back. I'm, but I'm looking for about three, 400 pips. So this Euro JPY trade, my risk reward was one to five. Cause I'm not worth it. No, the news that doesn't, uh, you know, news, I, you know, doesn't, you know, bother me. So we see this counter right here. This, this green wick. This, this was a spike. We got. I've been in this trade two weeks. When I, when I, when I, when I got in this trade two weeks ago. Oh. Uh, um, um, Euro JPY had triple arrows 
on the daily down to the 15 showing sales. So it was like, a, I want to say a Tuesday or a Wednesday had SR dots and all that stuff there. This is why I draw my support and resistance zone. Now, I, as, as best as I can, let me see. I had my zone drawn right across, because if you can see, my price came here and fell, right? And it's back right. there again. So I had triple A, I had everything looking real nice and pretty. And what happened? The market makers did their classic, this was a fake out. You know how many times I've been calling fake outs? I can't tell you how many times I've been Price faked up, everybody got scared, and they ran. And I'm watching them. I said, they about to do a fake out. Like they did the Look at it. Same thing here. These are fake moves. As long as it doesn't break that zone, it's still a valid sale. And what it did was it faked up. And later on, I watched him make a bearish flag. It just formed. I'm sitting there watching it. I said, I'm waiting on y'all now. You showed, me, you showed your hand. That's why learning market structure is so important. Right. And the, the indicators, we're gonna run out, run out of time, guys. Okay. It, the, the indicators only indicate the market structure can't lie. It does it, I mean, it's, you know, three plus three is six. But if it's a, if it's a, the most of the time, if it's a bearish flag or a bullish flag or a bullish pennant, it's gonna make that move. It's gonna, okay, Dick, oh, okay, hold on, Dick, one second. It's gonna make that move. We just have to wait on it. I'm telling you guys, since I've been patient and consistent, if you've been following me on YouTube, I'm very transparent. I will show you my wins and my losses since December the 6th as I started trading like this only losses have been missed punches I saying that to to, to you know, brag I'm just letting you guys know what I what I what I've settled into okay that's I mean so what what I would do is I would do another because I got a lot of time I'll do the video again I, and I will analyze different different pairs and I will post it on my YouTube channel okay thanks okay yes ma'am Anybody else? Uh, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Who is this? Sherry. Miss Sherry, how you doing? Making Georgia, what's going on? Are you the one? I'm um, not trying to be. Talking, <laughs> <laughs> you were talking about the uh, the structure for the A A U. Yes. Can you can you draw that? The the double bottom. Um, yeah, you were saying it was going to pull back and then retest. And can you draw okay. this? So I see okay, I'm good. That was that was and that was it was showing up on the weekly time frame. Let me, mm -hmm. let me do this. Delete this. All you have to remember is this: the 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 market does the same thing over and over and over. Again. I'm realizing that that it it just it just you know it. It, 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 it repeats itself. Let me make this a little bit bigger. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, the, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do this. Let me go to my list. Is, you can see it cleaner. <coughs> Hello, Errol. Oh, this off the screen. Close this. So, just draw that trend line. Um, hold on, this way, wrong, wrong way. You, uh, you want to get that trend line as close price. I mean, I'm sorry, as close to uh to the uh to the trend as you possibly can. There we go. Okay. So you start at the, start at the top. You want to try to get as many wicks inside of there, see what I'm saying, as you can. And it's, there's no exact way to draw it. So price broke it. It's and you lock this up. And price is coming back to retest it. So what you what you what you what you as we go down to the daily, are we gonna draw another trend line on the daily? You're simply waiting on price. To break this trend line this way, you know what I'm saying? As 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 long as it's it's selling, leave it alone. 
Just leave it alone. And what basically is, in this case, let it sell. Don't jump in the trade. You want to be going. The, you, you, you want to, because you missed a big move already. There's another big move coming, right? Let right. this thing fall. When that big arrow shows up, it's the indicator. Ding, 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 ding. The trend is possibly over. You have to wait. And so you just wait. Keep waiting. It may take four or five more days. You just you just don't know. All you're doing is waiting on price to do this. It's the break here. It's going to retest. It's going to go the other way. That's the part people don't want to do. They don't want to wait for the market. And the market makers know that. Market makers also know that they 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 know they is that no they know that we don't like to look at our look at our screens and draw down. Who don't who who wants to be have their screens red all the time? Nobody, right? Nobody. Exactly. Yeah. Hmm. Unfortunately, <laughs> that's the nature of the game. Me being a swing trader, when I in I try to get the cleanest entry that I can. It's not always possible. So I get in the trade. It's swinging. It's gonna it's gonna shoot down. It's gonna pull back. It may be negative. It's gonna shoot down. It's gonna pull back. Maybe a little bit negative. The next drop, I'm positive the rest of the way down. It's it's just you have to and don't be afraid of the pullback, guys. When we trade in the direction of the, of the weekly, where the weekly is going, it's going that way. The news, I don't care about the news. I don't care about the pullback. Just I just don't. I have taken my emotions completely out of this. If I lose, I don't care. You know why? I'm gonna find, I'm gonna find another move. You have to be fearless and emotionless if you're gonna do this. If you're scared to lose your money, you can pack it up and go to the house. I, mean, I, I hate to be bought like that, but I had to tell myself, James, you're gonna lose some money, man. You're gonna lose. But what you wanna do is you wanna you want to be smart and calculated. You want to be patient and consistent and minimize the losses as much as you can. That's why I say, you know what? Let me stop. And I will, and I will, I will tell you what changed. I'm, I'm, I'm sure some of y'all saw this. I don't, I'm not in the chat room anymore. But I was trading NZD USD and I lost the trade. Somebody on my YouTube channel said, James. You're trading against the weekly time frame. I said, oh, I was on a four hour because it wouldn't break the 50 moving average. That, 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 that 50 is powerful. So after that, I sat there that weekend and wrote my trading rules out. I said, I would never trade against the 50. I'm sorry, I never trade against the weekly time frame again. I will trade the pullback because that's the way the weekly is going, right? like, like, on, like on Euro JPY. Is selling. This how you. This is how people need to learn how to look at candle structure too, guys. This is the. This is the. This this one candle right here. That we call we traded with me. This one candle is 175, 180 pips. We caught all of them. We, we we got this trade when it's way up here. So what happened is, this one candle has taken out all of these. All one, two, three, four, five candles. Golfing. That's a bearish engulfing candle, which just simply tells me that the bears are in control in Euro JPY. Candle structure, market structure, support and resistance, trend line bounces, and trend line breaks. That's all it is. All price is doing is going from zone to zone. It's either going to respect that trend line or it's going to break it. You see market structure you see a bearish flag a bullish flag head and shoulders patterns is reversal patterns double top double bottom those reversal patterns if you can recognize those you got a better chance of winning and when you add the super easy system to confirm what you're doing it makes your chances of winning a lot greater guys i'm just I, i've been I, i've been at this since December the 6th, I watched that video, my, my mindset flipped immediately. Mm. Immediately, because I because he talked about we changed it. I was changing styles, getting frustrated. I know some of you guys get frustrated. Pick a style, write your rules down, and stick to them. 
My mindset now is I'll wait two weeks for a setup. I'd rather wait than lose my money. Exactly, feel me? I'd rather wait two weeks for that move to happen than lose my money. Right, right, it's right. Just, right. It's, yeah. just that, it's just that simple. We have to outweight the wait. You feel what I'm saying? The market makers, hey man, they in control of this thing. You're taking more have, calculated moves as well. Exactly. We don't have millions of dollars to fight these guys. I say, you know what? Let me think like they think. Let me move like they move. You don't see Citibank, Deutsche Bank, uh, Wells Fargo, and all these big banks. I'm going to say this. I, don't, I, I might defend some people. They're not scalping. Hedge fund guys are not scalping. If you're a scalper, no disrespect. They're not playing short money. These guys are moving billions and millions of dollars. So why not trade like they trade? And I know it's not quick, it's not fast. You have to wait. But think about I know I, I know I know I know some of you guys on my on my YouTube channel and in the in the in, 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 in the chat room. I, chat room I, I have a spreadsheet. So with 500 bucks, six percent risk per trade, right? 200 pips per trade, 13 trades, you had six figures. Hmm. Think about that. Eighty-four thousand dollars a month. Exactly. Yeah. That spreadsheet. If you just be, if you if you take twenty twenty and say, you know what, twenty twenty is my building year. Twenty twenty one is gonna be the oak the, the overflow year. You know what I'm saying? You take that five hundred dollars. You say, you know what, I'm gonna wait with Jane. I'm I'm, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna move, guys. Oh, it was because look. 400 pips is the minimum. It could be a 300 pip move. It could be a 400 pip move. I don't know. People ask me, I mean, people ask me, hey, where's it going? I don't know. I'm trading like you trade. I'm zone to zone. Whatever you see me analyze on a YouTube channel, that's the trade I'm in. I don't want to hide nothing from nobody. I want to be as open and transparent as I possibly can. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to fake and shake with nobody. We've been, we, we've been faked and shaked in this Forex game by too many people. I know, I know. People have you know, me for some money. So I said, you know what? I'm going to be open and honest with people. And hey, man, this is this is what I'm doing. I'm taking it slow and steady. You feel them? I'm taking it slow and steady. There's no need to jump in the deep end if you can't swim. Right, 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 right. Watch, That's true. Wait on the market because the move is coming. Awesome. You see consolidation on a weekly time frame, or it's a big move coming. It's, yeah, it's, price is slowing it, down before it makes the major move. Exactly. The big move is coming. So you see me trade. I may be on Euro JPY the rest of the year. You wow. don't have to be, you don't have to be in 15 pairs. You can be in one. Most hey, James, of I got a question. Go ahead. Do you mind uh showing everyone um what, what what are your thoughts on EJ going in the master trend direction off the weekly? Off the as weekly. Far as, uh, right, as far, as far as, you know, like um, profit potential, I mean, pips potential, you know. Okay. We, we, let me do this. Let me, let me, let me, uh, okay, I'm going to do this. All right, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is a zone right here, right? The next zone I'm looking at once the pullback is over is, where am I? Oh, wrong. Okay. I'm looking at this zone right here. That, that's the next area I'm, I'm, I'm looking to get to. Okay, so I'm gonna, and then this the, let me, now that, this is how I use super easy. Uh, let me do this, guys. Give me a minute. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, gotta start over again. Let me, I ain't best at this, guys, so please bear, bear with me. I remember when Yahoo started, so I know, so. You know, I remember when 1995, Yahoo was was a dial up. It took forever for it to pop open on, on the chart. So these my kids do this whole a uh, lot uh, better than me. Okay, so we're gonna zoom in. So I use it. I use like I said, I use the SR dots to help draw my zone. It's sitting there, right? Yep. Right, go to right, chart. Right. I'm going to start. Go to insert. Go to shape. We're gonna draw this zone right across. 
You can see where price touched and fell, broke through, touched, came back up, went through it. See that right there? Touched it again. Messed around. So I think this is this is where the the current pullback is going is going to come to. Okay. I'm gonna draw the I'm gonna draw the next zone. Oh, I'm gonna shake rectangle. This zone right across the top of here, pretty much. Okay, the next zone I'm seeing once we get back on the what we call the master trend. I think I uh, I, think I heard I heard Urban call it that. Uh, probably right around through here, right? Give or take a few pips. Don't you know? You don't know. Does it? You, it and I tell people, people say, man, the weekly. You know the weekly. It you know takes a while. Yeah, you know why? Because you got five minute chart, 15, 30, hour, four hour, and daily. All that's in that one candle. You know what I'm saying? That, that's in that one candle. So I'm looking for price to probably get around here. We gonna, I'm, let me let me do that. Let me go to the daily time frame. And we and I will show you. Okay, we got the triple arrows, right? This is this is what I do. Draw the trend line. Long as it's long as it's not breaking that trend line, I'm in a sale. It's just it's, it's just that simple. So what I, so when price price may get around this area, we we may see a stall out. The next move is gonna get here around somewhere around here. It's gonna do this right here. It's a possible 755 pip move back up. 755 pips. I see possible. because. It's gonna go down to that. It's gonna pull back down to that that lower zone. Exactly. Then where price is currently rejected at, it's gonna exactly. break that zone. It's gonna it's break it. Gotcha. It's gotcha. gonna break it. This is this is this is what price does. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get on here. I'm gonna touch this. I'm gonna do a little pullback. Boom. Da -da. I'm gonna get here. I'm gonna pull back here. When it when whenever you see price pulling back, don't be scared. Applaud it. You know why? It's gaining strength. To make the next move up. Just right, draw okay. a trend line. Draw the trend line. As long as it doesn't break that trend line, it's still a valid move. I get people, man, it's it's it's, it's pulling back. So what you looking at? It's 15 minute time frame. Man, don't <clears throat> I'm gonna go past the four hour guys. Again, I'm not trying to say don't scalp a craft the hour. Do your thing how you want to do your thing. This is my style of, of trading. I get people, you, talk, you know, you're talking about the scalpers. I said, no, I'm not. What do you think? Because I'm doing mine. Hey, Mr. James, can you go to the weekly time frame? So we weekly can see time. weekly. Yeah, that was just daily. We go on okay. the weekly. There it is, weekly, weekly time yep. frame. See, so you, yep, see, right there. See yep. these, oh, wait a minute. Anyway. So price will probably get here and slow down. From, from where price is now to there, it's about another 150 or so pips. And you see support and resistance, it's, it's a zone, it's not a line. You know what I mean? Price right, may, right. It, it, it may go deep into the zone, it may tap the zone. I don't know What's what- it's in that area of that zone. Because if you look at EJ, between those two zones you've drawn on the bottom, those bottom two zones, it's a right. range. Of Ranging, so it has to break right. out of that range. It has to break out of that range. And right. So okay. Got gotcha. you. It, it 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 bounced off the fifty moving average. Once this thing breaks the fifty moving average on the weekly time frame, it's gone. Like, see up here, how it kind of messed around and then and then once it finally broke it, this right here, guys, is is market manipulation. That's, that's just that's just that's market making mess. You know, you got to deal with that. That's just that's just that's just part of it. That's, 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 that's part of trading. It, it you know, just is. No, excuse me. But that's my style, guys. It's not, it's not the fastest style, but I consider it safe. I consider it safe. So I just, I'm gonna I'm go over it again. Step one, like we have to we go to go to the weekly time frame first. Use the use the triple arrow system. You paid for it. Use it. I look for triple arrows on the weekly. This lets me know this thing is in a buy, but it's not quite in a long term buy until it breaks that trend line. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Honestly, gotcha. I, I just want to know does everybody under understand that part? Yes. Gotcha. Right. 
until it breaks that trend line, it's not in a long-term buy yet. Next thing I do is delete that. I drop down to the to the daily time frame. Right? So so you in this trade from up, up here. I take this right here and I draw that another counter trend line. As you can see, price has broken on a trend line, letting me know it's selling. I got the triple arrows confirming the sale. I also have a, my goodness, I also have a double top confirming the reversal. Reversal pattern. So I'm using the triple arrow system and I'm using market structure. Okay. We got in this trade up here. Price got to that trend line and it stalled out. And you know what it formed yesterday morning? It formed a bearish flag. I said, ding, 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 ding. We got some more drop. And Friday, what did it do? It took off. Drop. So I used the triple arrow system along with market structure, the basic support and resistance and trend lines to mark up my chart. You, I, the what what the trend lines and what's for, and, and what the and what's and what the support was you know no 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 you know zones do it boxes it in it's got to go somewhere see what i'm saying it's got to go somewhere right it's either going right. to break that area it's, it's got to break out of there sometime because we don't when that when that when, when that guy told me from new zealand 21 days i was like man you're crazy he said i made fifteen thousand dollars you know what <laughs> I'll wait for $15,000. Right. You know I me mean? both. I'll, I'll wait. Right. I will, I'll wait with you. <laughs> right. I, I, will, I will wait for that 15 grand. You, on that screen. Huh? No, I was oh, just saying in general, uh, swing trading, just from looking at it, swing trading has the biggest results. It just takes longer. It just takes longer. Right. It, it, and, 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 and that is the biggest fight that we have as traders. By, by nature, we want it overnight. I would love to get in the market and be a millionaire money. It don't work like that. There, this is not. A, there is no get rich quick scheme. It's just. It just doesn't work like that. Wish it did. I retire, but it's not. I mean, hey, it's, Mr. You James, know, you have a few questions. Um, what now? Has your hand raised. Go ahead. Go ahead. Who had a question? Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me. Okay, okay. Everybody's, everybody's is, is is unmuted. Question. Hey, James. What? Is, uh, is somebody else asking? I'm, I'm just. Say it again. Okay. Hi, how's it going, James? Good, good, good. Hey, um, I'm the guy. I'm, I'm the guy from Temple, man. I talked to you earlier. Okay. Yes, sir. Temple, text. Thirty five, yeah, thirty five. I, I just got home from work, man. So okay. I've kind of been in and out. But, okay. But, um, the SR dots are those monthly, weekly, and daily. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I follow. My my white dots are weekly. My blue dots that's that's a those are monthly levels. My yellow dots are daily levels. Okay. Cool. And, and then when I drop down to the four hour, you'll see green as my, my, my buy dots and red as my sell dots. I just, I can't, like I say, I use those to draw my zones. That's all the other support resistance. That's all the SR dots are, are, are supporting resistance. I want to see it all the way across. Oh, okay. You know so on, the, on the four hour time frame, they're red and green. Or? Yeah, let me let me drop down to the, to the uh, four hour. Hold on one second. Go to, go to the four hour, and, you, and I will show you my red and green dots. What's the chain? See, 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 see my, it's on the four hour? They're yeah. red showing sale. Green showing by. Okay. Yeah, I only use the forward time frame for entry. That's it. You know, okay. I'm so done with it. So the red and green dots, what what are those four hours? Four hour dots, yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. I see. I see. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So you might have to screenshot your settings because I okay. had a problem with that too at first with trying to get the settings right for the dots. Oh, there's there there's a default. Um, like when you you can add multiple um, SR dots, and all you have to do is change the input. To 
right. You can go, you can you can go to uh, indicate list, like SR dots here. Let me do this. Uh, For some reason, my dots were showing up on every time frame. I had to manually yeah. kind of fix it, but they were all time frames had every dot on there. It was right. like using. So what I do is my red and my red and green dots are only on my full hour. Yeah, that, that's, that's it. And so yeah, I see SR dots. These, these dots right here. I don't know what I don't have them. I had them on there. But these, this the, uh, these are my daily dots. So my daily dots, I got them on my four hour, and my daily, and my weekly. The the my four hour dots only show up on my four hour time frame. I say I only use a four hour time frame for entry. That's it. I don't go down anymore. Yeah, yeah. Don't even. I don't even look at it. Okay. Well, one, another question I have yes, is um, when you're when you're going to enter in on the four hour time frame, do you initially do check the news? No. Okay. Not at all. No, because because I'm I'm saying I'm saying I'm going in the direction of a weekly time frame. This is what happens with the news. I, I saw it this week. Euro JPY had it had interest rate news on the JPY like on Tuesday. I saw that. Let me, let me back up. The only pay, the only I only trade one pair at a time. I go to FX book. Right now, I'm only Euro JPY. The only news I even have set to see is Euro and JPY news. Okay. I will glance at it. I will. I I not probably get in the in the in the trade. Okay, I don't. Um, let me see. I can uh, uh, say this. Since I trade over two or three weeks, you know, if I had, you know, if a setup shows up, just you know, shows up Monday, I get in the trade Monday. If it shows up Tuesday, I get in the trade Tuesday. And I don't do, you know, some people like, you know, some people wait till after London session. If my setup shows up, it shows up. You know what I'm saying? And so, Sorry? So, so, uh, no, so no I, I just, I just get in the trade, man. And my stop loss is about 60%. And, oh, and like, 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 for instance, when we got in this trade here, my stop loss was behind this weekly level. See what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm oh, Mr. James, Mr. James, we can't really hear you. Somebody, uh, oh, I don't know who that is. Might have moved hold, up. Up. hold up, hold up. Let me, let me, let me, let me do this. Yeah. Let me, let me, okay. So, like I say, I will enter, enter, I will enter trades on Sundays. Nobody's, I mean, you know, just because nothing's moving. But I will enter a trade on Monday. I don't do the after London session stuff. Like these, like like you know, JPY pairs. Hey man, they they move during the you know I'm saying Asian session. You just you just don't know when they're gonna move. So let me show you. Let me let me, let me go back and let me go back and show and show you guys the JPY will happen on JP on this Euro JPY trade uh, and why learning market structure is so is is you know so vital. Looked at the pair. And we saw what is called a triple top. One, two. It was, and so we saw a double bottom here on the, you know, on the four hour time frame. So this was about two Sundays ago. I said, I, I said you know what? I'm a, I'm just gonna wait. So, so Sunday, price started buying. It was headed back up to make the triple top, right? And so what happened was, I'm gonna zoom in closer. This right here was the fake move right here. I saw this. But this, this, this gave me confidence. This thing about the drop. Let me unmute you guys. What is that right? What is that right there? Yeah. Um the falling wedge? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. I saw the falling wedge, I said, game over. And what did it do? Drop. Drop. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That was beautiful, man. That's perfect. I, said, <laughs> I was like, hey, man, now the now the old James would have been would have been down in here messing around. 
said, oh, wait a minute. I see this. I see this. I see this. I see a double bottom in a four hour time frame. I just happened to see it. I said, oh, let me wait. And it took off to the buy. Took off. Got up here and it drops. We actually got in the trade, I think right around here. It dropped down there. And I saw it doing this. I said, oh, here, here comes the falling wedge. I even put it in a, in, in a group. I put the picture side by side. I said, it's about to drop, guys. If people were messaging me, if this is going to drop, if this is going to drop. I said, yeah, just, just, just wait. And, and after they messed around and, and took all the people's money, what did it do? It dropped. Man. Market structure. That played out I, perfect, man. I can't stress market structure enough. Because the market can't lie when it shows up like this. It just, it, it just, it's, hey man, if it, if it, if it breaks market structure, then it just break market structure. But most of the times, it doesn't. I learned market structure from Stevenson Lindor. First, I talked, then I, then I started studying, and I said, oh man, this is this is this is it. Of course, I got away from it. Try to do different, different, di di different styles. I said, man, let me go back to basics. Let me go back to basics. It, let's go, keep it keep it simple, guys. I'm telling you, it is so many people on the internet and doing they do. I don't pay them no attention. People see me all kind of stuff. They say, man, try this. Nope. Because I'm because I'm I'm committed to my style of trading. Whatever style you're gonna do, do that. Hey, you know? James. Yeah. Uh, uh, Mike Thomas in the chat asked if um if you could go over G G G J G B P J P Y G B P J P Y they can't they, they can't hear me I mean they can't ask the question no nah, he uh I, he's on the chat this guy says he's at work so he can't talk okay no can, problem no let me do this let me do this let me do this I want that channel I don't want G P J P Y weekly time frame this this is what I start guys weekly time frame. This is how I use triple arrow system. I'll say this. I'll keep saying it. We're going to zoom out. Triple arrow showed up, and all of this crap right here, all this nonsense, is Brexit. I don't know, I don't know nothing about politics, nor do I really care. There's nothing you can do about it. The people are going to do it. They gonna do, look, they're going to do what they're going to do. If you say something, then you're going to start everything over. I think you can just mute that person's mic specifically and say everybody. I don't know who that is. Fernando. Okay, let me just Fernando. Yeah, yeah, you can just mute his mic. Well, it's not crypto. It's okay, I got you. Crypto, what's going on? Man? <laughs> crypto, what's going on? Doing all right, bro? Let's see. Let me. Okay, I see. It. Let me mute Mr. Fernando. Okay, there we go. So everybody can hear me, right? Yes. Good. Good. Okay. Yes. So weekly, weekly time frame. GJ. Triple arrow showed up. Let me know that this thing is possibly about to buy. If any of you guys follow Yusef Scott. He made three hundred thousand dollars off this trade right here. Mm. He, he saw it. He saw it coming. It pulled back and it retested. He made three hundred thousand dollars off this move right here. These are all good <laughs> in about two months. Ooh. So anyway, that's all, that's, that's all the story. So anyway, <laughs> that's crazy. We're gonna, so we're gonna draw. We're gonna go back to support and resistance. I'm a shape with a rectangle. We're gonna draw it right across here. Right across there. You'll see that you'll see that zone. Okay. Price came in a zone, bounced, tested here, went up, tested it again, went up, tested it again, test this. this I, I learned how to how to do this in, in our markets live from a DZ Duncan. Very she she was all them zones. Oh, okay, that makes sense. And so we're gonna draw this zone, use it, the SR dots, draw it right. Right across there, kind of right across there. Yes, I can. Across there. So we can see, we see the zone, don't we? we see where it's bouncing out, you know, kind of going sideways. Yes. We're going right. to go a little closer. We're going to drop down to the daily time frame. And we're going to, I mean, this man. But so we're going to see, we see triple arrows. We're using the system. It's telling us that we're going to sell, but what do we see it doing right now? Triple A. Huh? 
let's see. What am I drawing right now? It's a bearish flag. Bearish flag. Mm -hmm. And you or see the stick. Exactly. Bingo. This thing about to start. It's, that just verifies, you know, triple arrow. The, 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 the triple arrows and the bearish flag are working together. Mm -hmm. they, the system is, you know, it's verified. And you and you and you see the current the current candlestick, don't you? Pick up top. When this thing breaks, it's, it's this is what it's, it's gonna do. It's gonna break that 50. Price, I mean, breaks down, it always comes back to retest bottom of that flag. And it's gonna do this. Yeah. Game over. It's just I'm, most of the guys, most of the ladies, whoever I watch, the swing traders who are profitable. They talk about patience, support and resistance, and market structure. That's it. I don't, I don't hear any of them talk about anything else. But patience is, is our number one thing to talk about, is waiting on the market. They, you have to wait. If you, if you don't wait, they're going to take your money. So I mean that's I mean that's a that's a that's a that's if it, next week guys that's a move to look for right there. That's, that's a move to look for like right, right there. When that like I said, I'm not a political guy, none of that crap, but when that Chinese when that first thing in that Chinese trade deal sign, the JPY started getting ready to drop. Mm. You know, whatever. I don't know, but you know, like I say, people ask me about these currencies. I said, man, I don't I said, look, I ain't control. The U.S. dollar, let alone the Japanese yen, I can't control. I, I mean, you know, none of us can. We are right. small, very small fish in a very, very big pond. So my thing is, get yours and get out the way. Like we want the Euro JPY trade, get that trend line and price load up. I said, I said, I said myself, I said, James, you up by two grand. Get you some money and get out the way. And so I said, you know what? I told everybody in the group, I said, hey, man, get some money, get out the way. Let's see what it's going to do next. They were like, no, we're going to stay in. I said, you did, you want to? I'm up. I'm not a gambler. I, I go to Vegas, my wife, she likes to go see the shows or, or whatever. I'm not a gambler. I know most gamblers, smart ones, when they up, what do they do? Take the money and run. Take the money and run. Take the money and run. You'd rather be the, my mindset now, is I want to be up at the end of the week, in the two weeks, in the three weeks. I don't care if, it, if I'm up one dollar. I increased. We all know how, how how difficult it is, you know, in this you know forex market. You know, none of us are like I said, I'm not a financial advisor. I don't. I'm not. A, hey, I'll bet. It's, it's, it's easy to lose money too. It's easy to lose it. So when I see price get into a certain area and the market slows down, I said, oh, I'm up a nice amount. I was up like 180 some pips. I'm up like 180 pips. I said, let me, let me take let me take my profit. I saw it on top of that trend line. When I saw that bearish flag forming, I put a sell stop right up 20 pips up, up under that, you know, you know, you know, stop. That's the current trade I'm in right now on on this on this on, on this pair. Uh, that's why I am right now on Euro JPY, and I was I was oh, let me go back here. Uh, my fault. I will show you the bearish flag that form right here. This is this, this is what I saw. Now, I say I don't go down to the hour, but I went down anyway, and I and I and I and I, and I, and I saw this form. When I saw this form, and I said I, I said, hey man. It was a this is a this is a this is the end of a daily candle. I put that sell stop right there and it dropped right out of it. It just it just it just fell. Market structure. If anybody needs free resources, free material to learn this stuff, you can have all I have is free. I don't charge nobody for nothing. You can hit me up on my telegram at J M A R L I N J R. You can have it all. Hey James. Yes, ma'am. Do you avoid the uh Swissy pairs? I do. Yeah, I do too. I don't like yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. that when when Pat said that, that that was in class one time, I said, yep, I 
Swiss pairs and NZD pairs consolidate a lot. You know, JPY pairs me move, you know, move, you know, move pretty good. EVP pairs, they'll, you know, they'll move 200 pips quick. Just depends. You know, I mean, there's there's no magic pair. You know, some people like, you know, certain pairs. I just what I what I what I did was I go, I like sticking the, you know, Euro JPY, EVP JPY, Euro USD, AUD USD. You know, like I said, you can get money off any pair. Just I just decided I'm not gonna trade 50 pairs at one time. You, you don't have to. You know what I'm saying? You take that spreadsheet that I have, five hundred dollars party. 13 200 pip trades. Let's just say you let's say you do that this year. You go on to 2021 with about 140 grand in the in the bank, right? And you don't and you simply repeat the trading style. Okay, James, what are we looking at now? I see triple arrows. You know, let's let's say we trading AUD USD. It's been, you know, going up, pulling back. We be we've been catching up, catching the buy. Catching the pullback, catching the buy. I said, well, let's find something else. So we go find another pair. Let's, let's say we go, let's say we go to, I don't know, a USD CAD. And we see triple arrows on USD CAD. Starting, I like to catch them kind of starting out, right? Like, like, like the like Euro JPY. When I mean starting out, I mean when the triple arrows are kind of fresh. You see that? And it hasn't even made the first stair yet, the first pullback hasn't even uh, happened. And so I'm like, okay, it's gonna be going for, for uh, you know, wow. So I, you, can, you, can, you can catch a lot of pips, you know, off these pullbacks weekly. Like I used to trade four hour pullbacks, it would take my money. It, the, the, the weekly pullback, that might be a two, 300 pip move. I would, I, I would and, I, and I'll show you why. Okay, here is, here is uh here, here here's the previous oh, let, me, let, me, let me mute this here is the previous euro jpy move right price took off here's the here's the uh pullback 855 pips on the pullback on euro jpy because it, it touched this level it went back up and then it broke it you know what I mean? I don't, I mean, you know, I can't predict that's going to happen, but that's a big move. But really, what somebody you can do is you can trade weekly, see what I'm talking about? Weekly dot to weekly dot. Weekly dot to weekly dot. Because these moves are big moves. That's four, that's 500 pips down. That is another three 400 pips up and another 700 pips down. Man. I mean, those weekly. You gotta love swing trading. Yes, because that's where the bigger moves happen. You have to wait on them. James. Yes, sir. Hey, got a question. Um, so I'm... with your 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 compounding sheet, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The multiple positions, like the, the trades that you're stacking. Like, yeah. Are they adding up to your six percent? Exactly. Right okay. now, my account is over. It's about 60, 60 Hold on, I can tell you what it is. I got my phone here. I'm sitting at about. Uh, I'm at about. I'm at sixty three hundred dollars. So my lot size on that spreadsheet is twenty dollars. Is twenty dollars a pip. I took twenty dollars a pip, chopped it up into four or five. So it's five, 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 and five. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, I will take that. I will take it. Cause I, cause I don't, I don't, I don't know for sure, but I think if I'd have put in, you know, two standards, my margin would have hit. One thing I, I learned from Jenny is, is a, keep your margin above above five hundred. That's what I like to do. Gotcha. Yeah, I will, I will take that, that, that you know, lot size, and I, you know, chop it up. Hey, James. James? Yes, go ahead. Yeah, when you say twenty dollars per pip, you, you're basically meaning twenty dollars total in trades. Because I know yes. sometimes people 
confused. They think like twenty dollars. Right. No, no, no. You see on my screen, you see those 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 four four trays equal up to twenty dollars. Each one right. of those each, each one of those trays one, two, three, and four is five is is five is five dollars a pill. So five dollars times times four, you know, you know, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And you know, like I said, you see, you see the, you know, you see the current current, current trade is I will stay in this trade. As I use a system, I'm using I'm now I'm using a system now. I will stay in this trade. Oh my. Will stay in this trade until the until the until the big arrow shows up. Oh, then I'm done. Then I, then then I do, I do, look here. So I do, do do this here. Got a trend line. What am I waiting on now? For it to break through. Exactly. That's all we know. That's it. I'm not sitting around watching it. These are daily cameras. I don't, I if I watch I'm on my phone, I mean, you know, on my phone. But you see how price has broken the moving average? It's not coming back. It doesn't come back. When it once it breaks it like that, it, it may come back to it and touch it. But it's gone. So you pretty it's much moving true. average, man. It, it's, Pretty, it's, a, it's it's a pretty powerful thing on your chart. So once price, so once price break the fifty moving average, it whatever way, it's just gonna keep going in that direction it, until it'll, it'll. You see, you see, okay, you see when it was buying, right? It right. It, went up, came and tested it, tested it, tested it, kept on going. Mm hmm. Okay. Right. Yes. Yes. Now. I say that, but it's, you know, the market is the market. You know what I mean? That, I mean, I'm looking forward to go to, to, that, to this, this level right here, blue area. Somewhere in here, I think that I think the buys. I mean, I think this this sale is going to end. I think it is. You know, could, you know, you know, I could be wrong. Because right? well, this is this is this is the this is the way the, Let me see. At price, the price could do this right here. Price could break this and come back here down here and you know test it again. Who knows? You know what I mean? But you have to draw support and resistance to Lisa. You know, okay, it could get there. Because when you see people give out signals, you see take profit one, two, and three, those are just zones. That's all they are. That's not any kind of magical area. It's just, oh, there's there's <laughs> There's a support area right there, support area right there, support area right there. That's, those are all those. Oh, you see people send out signals. And they send out take profit one, two, and three. Those are simply zones in the market. That is all. It's basically like a stair area. master in a sense. Exactly. Like a stair master. Exactly. Like a stair, you know, same thing with take profit. Pretty same much. thing. Same thing. But use the system, but draw those trend lines because it'll, it'll, it will give you. Like for instance, you see the you see the dots. You say, "Oh man, I got like somebody somebody told me, oh no, the triple arrow is showing, it's still buying." I said, "Okay." It, I, and I, I, I look here. I did that. I said, "What is it doing?" Oh, it's selling. Yeah. Until it breaks that common trend line. Hey man, this thing could break, and it could fall back to here and retest. You see, look at you see what it did here. You see what price did on the weekly. On GBP JPY, mm -hmm. all the way up, all, all all the way back down. Weekend. That'd be better for us if it did. That more money for all of That's us. More, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's exactly. more money for us. <laughs> exactly. This thing is unpredictable. I tell people like this: the forex market is like a wild animal. Trying to put it in a cage is a is a is a is a, is a waste of time. It's a it's a waste of your time. But what you can do is you can be smart and try to, you know, you, you can be patient. You know what I mean? You see, right. you know, I'm sure we've all been to the circus. You see the guy in there with the, you know, you know, lines or whatever. He's very patient. He ain't there with a wild animal. You know, he, he, you know, he's in the cave with a wild animal. Gotta be patient. Boy's market is a wild animal. It'll, it'll take your heart. Take your money, quick. That's what I got, guys. 
glad you guys joined me. Um, you think I'm an expert? I'm not. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. I'm still a, I'm a student of this thing, man. Hey, James, real quick before you get off. Go ahead. Uh, Sola, Sola asked, how do you determine your stop? For example, the Euro JPY reentry. Oh, the Euro. Okay, let me go. Let me go there. The, on that on the Euro JPY reentry, I simply put my stop loss above the fifty moving average. That's it. Now is that, is that because? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all mute everybody. I put my, I, I like to, the, 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 the 50 moving average as, as a support of this area too. So when I, when I, when I, when I saw this camp, when I, when I saw the move happening, my stop loss right up there, it's a 65 pip stop loss. I'm looking, I'm looking for price to drop right on down here. There's no, I don't, I, I mean, you know, I, I try to do, I try to do rich reward as best I can, but, but I also use support and, you know, you know and resistance. So you, if you look at this area right across here, this is an area of, so this is a, this is a, this is a ceiling in the, in the market. See that right there? Mm. Right across there. So, so really should be up above this area here. Should be. Put it above the, what you do is you put it above the, 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 the previous area of support or resistance. Price already been there, right? It touched mm -hmm. it and it fell from it. Put up above it. I can't, I, people ask me about support resistance. Man, I can't, I can't give you a magical formula, you know, you know, that one. I don't have it either. But what I, but, but what I do know, the way I trade, I'm, I'm confident that it won't go back. Because I'm trading with the weakness. Right. I'm not trading against the great white shark. I'm holding on to his to his tail and don't want to make him mad. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just hanging on. That's it. So what so what I this is what I like to think about it. Shark right now is going this way. The shark gets tired of me, I find me a new shark and go the other way. That's it. Oh, that's that is that is it. <clears throat> when and I was, you know, I, I showed other picture of a of a of a great white shark. You know, a great white shark. A great white shark like eat, eat, eat seals. There's a picture I show of a great white shark killing a seal. I don't want to be the seal. I'm tired of being the seal. I'm just I'm just tired of losing, man. I said the people winning. I said, how do you winning all this money? Let's wait a minute. This guy's doing this. This person doing this. I said, let me pick a style. It fits my, first of all, I'm slow. I don't move fast. I'm not 18 no more. I can't that fast. I'm real slow. I'm, I take my time. My wife don't think so. You think you move, you're doing, you're doing, you're doing this and that. Hey, man, I want this thing to slow down. Those of us who are, who are football fans like myself, they always ask rookie quarterbacks, what, 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 what's the first thing, what, what do you want the NFL to do? And they say slow down. They say it's moving too fast. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about guys who come from like Alabama's and Clemson's. They get to the NFL, and all these guys are fast. Got to slow the market down. So I decided go to the big time frame and let the market slow down. On the weekly and the daily, it's slow. That's what that's where the most profit is, guys. That's where the most profit is. Like for instance. I said, I've been on, I've been on this, this, on this, I've been on this pair. Nick, this week will be my third week. When I started doing this, I was on AUD USD for three weeks. I'm talking about doing on during December, the market is slow. I had 185 pip pip move. They were to trade. I drew that trend line on the on the on the daily. As long as it didn't break it, it kept right on going, it kept right on moving. Trend line bounces and trend line breaks. That is the key to this thing. Support and resistance. Any more questions? Did anybody yeah. mute? Uh, Mr. James? Yes, who is this? Uh, Liz? Yes, ma'am. I don't know if you can take like just a brief, brief look at GBP AUD. GBP, let me do this. Maybe. I don't know if you 
mastered that one, but I just was looking at it and then I mean, like I say, like I say, I don't have a magical pair. I just know I don't like Chiefs too much. But mm -hmm. DDP pairs, yeah, I mean, you know, they they, they move. I mean, mm -hmm. oh, right. GBP. Oh, well, okay, here we go. DBP odd is is to weekly. Always start with the weekly time frame. Mm -hmm. Start there first. Go to the big picture. Let me, let me let me do let me mute that guy. I was just doing some practice on yeah, that. Yeah, just that one. See. Yeah, he just got he got a mute Fernando. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so let's look at GP USD. I'm sorry, GP AU AU AUD. Yeah. yeah. Off the off the off the top, I wouldn't even fool with it until the triple arrow showed up. Right, right. That's it. My okay. first, my 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 first rule is the the the, the thing I, I like to do with the arrows is let the trend establish. I look at this thing like like this. They always tell you, "Hey man, don't buy a brand new car because it's gonna it's going it's going it's going to depreciate right quick." Go buy a used car. Let's buy. Let let them take the hit first. You know, take the, you know, you know, take the hit. I treat, I treat I treat the market like like it's a car. The market makers do most of their taking money at a major reversal area. If you if if you notice when price about to reverse, like check this out. Let me, let me go zoom in right here. Price comes here, you see this thing going sideways, right? One, right. two, three, four, five weeks. It's just going sideways. All the manipulation is happening right now. Right. They're taking everybody's money to do look here, mm -hmm. to do this right here. Finally, when it finally broke, that's that was a 1400 pip move. When I started watching the weekly time frame, I said, Oh man, they're taking people's money everywhere price reverses. Right. They're taking these folks' money. Mm -hmm. I said, You know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna wait. If you if if you think you can, I look. I close my I close the laptop down and look at it. I just, I, just, I, just, I just wait. I tell people, and you know, again, him on this. I'm not knocking anybody's trading style, but I'm not finna do all that work for twenty pips. Mm -hmm. I'm do all that work. I want fourteen hundred pips. Right. 800 pips, 900 pips. You know, I mean, it's just, to me, it's just numbers game. It is a numbers game. This is what I, this is what I do, for instance, let's go back in time, let's, and, and let's look at GBP odd, right? Triple arrow showed up here. How to wait to price done this. All the way back down here to that first stair. Right, and that's, that's what you do when you do this. Uh, I would have gone when 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 price took off this way. If we actually if I'd have caught if I'd have seen the triple arrows and price get up there. Very simple. Is it? Now I got it. Now, now I gotta find it. Hold on. Let me you might have drawn them vertical lines. Yeah, let me do that. Let me go back. Let me do that. Let me do that. <laughs> Make it easy. I gotta find it. Let me do that right there. Let me do that. Daily time time frame. Let's do this. So, all right, there, there we go. Real simple. On a trend line, guys. Then then what does it show? You saw how price saw how price broke it. Yes. Went up and went up and tested it again. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move this over a little bit, and you're gonna see price at a huge week up the last side right there. It had been it had been owned. I said, "Oh, mm -hmm. it's game time." Right. Getting get the trade. Eleven hundred and fifty. A lot of money. Woo. <laughs> Eleven hundred and fifty pips. Mm -hmm. Or you could or you could have been safe and said, "You know what? I'm gonna wait till price breaks to fifty. Got in right here. 
Seven hundred ninety fifths. Dude, <laughs> seven ninety. A lot of money, man. That's a lot of money, man. You think about this. You think about this. I, and I'm, I'm, I, you know, somebody I talk to all the time has raised, and I appreciate him for this. Raised my, I, my goal is to get my account, you know, you know, you know, ten thousand dollars. I guess you know, I'll get ten thousand dollars. You know, I, 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 my, my goal was just double, double, double it every month. So now I'm gonna get it to you know six figures. I said, oh, I don't want to do all that. And I looked at my spreadsheet. Get my account over six figures. I created 250 of I get my account, you know, 100 grand. I created 250 a pip. 400 pips a month is a hundred thousand dollars a month. Yes. You see what I'm saying? That's what you call yeah. life-changing generational money. It's a million dollars a year. It's a million dollars a year. A million dollars a year. Yeah, man, it's crazy. You Ooh. could you could really change your family for generations with hundred thousand dollars a month. Mm -hmm. Easily, of course. I, I you know don't go out and buy a bunch of nonsense. Buy some property. Buy some. I didn't make it no more. Buy some. Buy, buy some dirt. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> acres. Right. <laughs> acres. Generational wealth means buy some. I, I see people with money. Man, why y'all buying Rolls Royces and all that nonsense? Man, go buy some dirt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, 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 and hope some natural gas down there. It's a mineral right. Right. You know what I mean? That's what you call money coming in for life. That means when you dead and gone, your kids, 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 kids. Hey man, we got money. You know what I mean? And so this is what I do. So that so let's say that move happened. Boom. Okay, I'm I'm, I'm out of that trade. And, and and you know, one thing I would say, you want to look for you. You want to look for smooth pairs. To me, Chief pairs, NZD pairs kind of run kind of funny sometimes. They just, they, you know, they just do. So that move happens. You say, okay, the next, next move will happen. You do this. Draw this trend line. What you see? Trend line break. Right. Price came up, so, broke that mm -hmm. 50, kind of pulled back. Right? Then once it got going again, it left twelve hundred pips. Oh, all the way up. All the way up. Mm -hmm. It's just that draw the trend lines and wait. Okay. That's the that. Uh, uh, trust me, y'all. I fight that. I I I'm I'm getting close to mastering it, but that is the biggest hurdle as traders. We want to be in the market. Oh man, I'm in the market every day. I said, yeah, I'm in the market every day too. I'm just, I just stay in it. <laughs> I ain't getting in, getting out. So it's doing, it does major reversals at all the weekly and monthly levels. If you exactly. Look at that's what, if you take this, let me take this out of here. Man, that's insane. I mean, it's out of here. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to take it back to the weekly time frame. You see, Boom. reversal. Yep. Reversal. Small reversal. Okay. So you want to, you want to, of course, it going it gonna always be that be that be that smooth, right? Right. You can catch some, you know, smooth, smooth moves. But I'll, of course, you got economic news happen. Yeah, I, of course, news plays a part. I'm not saying I don't look at news ever. I don't just hop on news like, oh, it's going, oh, it's it's spiking. You don't take me out. No. No, because because <laughs> if 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 you own this trade this way, you know what the news does? It spikes down and goes direction. It always goes with the trend. Always. Always. And I know this one, Pat. He, we were we were trading NZD USD. This was this was maybe during the during the summer. And we were all on the same trade. And that NZD USD pass spiked up a hundred pips and took everybody out. And then you know what it did? It failed. We went right with the trend. They used that news to take our money. How they doing right every time mm -hmm. every time so i said okay i said i tell you what i'm gonna I'm 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 play the same game with y'all you look at this did you look at this gdp odd fresh of course it's not ready you, you know what it's making what am i drawing yeah the uh top the the other so part the double it's drawing, top is drawing it's making a double top Right. You see down here what it made? 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Double bottom. Bingo. That's it. Double tops and double bottom. M's and W's. M's and W's. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, really I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you something. They're not always that smooth. Sometimes, mm-hmm. you know, just... You know, you gotta look. Like, you gotta look for it. You gotta, you gotta look, look for it. You gotta, you gotta, yeah, I mean, now you can be like some of these traders and stay in this trade all this way, and you know, you catch it here or catch it here. Ooh. It's gonna swing a long way, but you're talking about a thirty-four hundred, a thirty-four sixty-eight move. <laughs> you better have a lot of money. You better have a lot That's of right. money in your account. But, hey, Mr. James. But, yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Uh, somebody's asking you to take a quick look at GBPCAD in the chat. GBPCAD. Okay. okay. What chat are they in? Oh, oh, that, I, oh no, you got a chat. Yeah, you got a chat there. Oh, I didn't know uh, that. No, no, not. Yeah, yeah. The, the, you got a little a bubble where people could uh, ask you questions and stuff in the oh. like a chat bubble. Oh, mm-hmm. over there. Mm-hmm. I guess I just yeah, guys, this is new to me. I don't know what I'm doing. Trust me. I'm just I'm just doing the best I can. Here we go. Mm-hmm. GBPCAD. No complaints, GBPCAD. man. Huh? No complaints here. I, I appreciate it. Let me be Oh, what the heck? Oh, wrong. Oh, I don't know what that's old. That's my old stuff there. GBPCAD. <laughs> there we go. GBPCAD. We're going to like the new stuff. <laughs> weekly time. Yeah. Right? Let me take this off the screen. This off the screen. That channel be on the wide still there. Okay. You gotta save it without it. Yeah. Okay. We good time frame. So you know, I can go weekly first. We got triple arrows. Even though this thing is going sideways, this is a huge ranging area. It's it's huge. So triple arrows here, tested, came back. Triple arrows have shown up again. All right. So we're going to draw support and resistance. That's the first thing I do. I want to get this thing some kind of structure. We're going to draw some uh, kind of, sometimes it's, it's kind of ugly. We're going to draw it there as best we can. I'm actually in, in Minnesota. My son's in college up here, so I'm in the hotel room. I'm from Houston, so you know I'm, I'm freezing right now. It is probably 10 degrees and snow on the ground. Ooh, it's cold. Wow. I mean, it's really, if it was if it was 10 degrees and snow on the ground in Houston, Texas, the city was shut down. Mm-hmm. We can move during the, <laughs> now, we can move during, during a, uh, you know, if it's a hurricane, we can't move when the dot on snow. Like we hurricane beat. We don't do uh, snow down, uh, down that way. We ride horses, you know, cowboys. Right. But anyway, uh, so we boxed it in. Kind of box, you know, price came up here. We came up. So you want to box it in. Now we're going to go to the daily time frame. Let's see what we see there. Okay, we see triple arrows here. We see a pullback. We can do this. What did it do at the trend line? Rejected it. And it's dropping again. That's how I use the super easy system. I use it along with, with price action. I draw support and, and you know, no resistance. And just do that. And I and you know, and it's it's it's, it's, you, know, it's, it's you know working pretty good. It's working pretty good. This right here was, was probably news event. Let me see spikes like this. So what I would do with this pair, whoever that is, I would wait till price broke the 50 moving average. Wait the price broke, retest again, and then wait for the bears to take the downside. That's what I would do. Use the 50 moving average, man. Use it, use it, use it. You see, every time price makes the 50, what does it do? 1,300 pips. And the further, Doc, I got to say something, Mr. Yeah. James. Uh, the further the further price stays away from the 50, the stronger the, the this, trend and the move. Yes. Yes, that that is that is that is true. If you look at here, you look at here. He, he he's right. It's further away, and it just kept falling. Kept on, kept, you know. Kept, you know just, I, I remember when I when I first started trading. Probably the first six months, I studied. I didn't even trade. 
I studied as much as I could. Me and, me and another guy was on the phone probably every other night studying. Hey, man, what you, what you see, what you, what you, you know, just we, 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 we watch the market, try to go figure stuff out. And then I, then I tried, then, then I tried this style, that style. That and I said, man, this ain't working. And then Pat, I'm telling y'all, if y'all ever get discouraged, I know past video, get on patience, patience and consistency, and it woke me up. I got that patience, that patience quote from Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett, he talked about the, he talked about the stock market. He just said, he said, the, you know, he said the stock market is a device for transferring money from patient and consistent trading. I'm sorry, from impatient to consistent trading. You know, I mean, from patient to, you know, Warren Buffett said that. If Warren Buffett made that quote, who I'm going to listen to? Warren Buffett. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I mean, I'd be crazy. What I found out about this guy. We all saw the whole Popeye's chicken thing, right? With the with the with the with the, with the chicken sandwiches. Everybody fight. I don't I don't I don't get that one. They play better than me anyway. <laughs> this guy, there's a company in Canada called Restaurant Brands International. They own Popeye's. They own Popeye's and two other fast food chains. The mm. fifth largest shareholder in that company is Warren Buffett. Mm -hmm. So mm. if Warren Buffett says wait. On the on you know on the market, what you gonna do? You're waiting. You wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apollo, he is the baddest trader on the planet, probably. Right. <laughs> so why not do what the baddest dude is doing? You wait. Yes. Follow his lead. I ain't gonna reinvent the wheel. He created it. Obviously, okay. Warren Buffett said, "Wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait." Mr. James, I got a question. Yeah. Do you think that if you look here, you see, if you look under that zone you've drawn, there's another weekly level there to the left. Do you think price will get to that weekly level and then uh, reverse? If you, right here? you go down under that zone, yeah, right there. If you draw that zone all the way across. Yeah. I mean, it's – that's yeah. You got a weekly and a monthly zone there, you know. Right. I was kind of – Right. Um, area, I was thinking. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's possible. <laughs> yeah, let's look at let's look at it back on the on the on the on the, on the weekly. Yeah, it 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 gets it there. Is that is actually that that's why sometimes, and I and I mean I tell people this. I said I tell people this. I said I said man, use use the dots and arrows to guide. Don't trade, don't let them be your own, you know, don't let them be your own thing you're looking at. You know what I mean? Right. Don't don't be an arrow dot trader. That's what I say like that. And I and I, you know, Pat got a great system. No, no, no disrespect to him. But he he I'm sure he don't just use, you know, you look right. at that market structure. He's looking at 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 the whole picture. You have to. Right. You have to. You cannot just rely on those two things to enter trades. You can't. I mean, you just, you know, it's just, you know, this, 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 you can't. Because, like I say, the market structure not going to lie to you. It, I, it, it just, uh, the, the market structure that, I, that I've been looking at recently on the trades I've been on has panned out to be, had panned out to be great for me. Right, because I mean, they can't, are, they can't fake that. They can't no. fake that. People would and just and just recently, because I just for some reason they think I'm the I'm the, you know the new. I said, man, trust me, man. I'm not I'm not the new hot thing. This is top down analysis. I didn't I did not make this up. I did not make this up. I've seen other people do it and win at it. I asked me, he been trade he been trading. I don't know, couple of couple like maybe two 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 months. I said, man, you go study, man. What you mean? I said, man, I'm telling you, you're gonna lose some money. What you got? I've been there. I'm trying to not let people make the same mistakes that I made. I tried to, to get out there quick and I got my feelings hurt quick. I didn't understand market structure. I, I, I didn't under, understand the market making game. They play games with this dog on thing. There's no way oh. to cheat for it. I tried it. It's just no. 
There's no way to you cheat. To. <laughs> There's no way to cheat. It's impossible, man. There's no way There's to no cheat. No way, it. man. It will. It if you don't take your emotions out of this, it's gonna be rough. It is eighty to ninety percent, you know, ten to twenty percent skill. I kind of, you know, it kind of, but it. I'm. I've learned it in 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 the past two months. That it is big time mindset. Right. I have I have totally my mindset has been on patience and consistency. Wait on the market and whatever rules you use to trade by those rules. On that same video, I talked about his two sons. He said one of his sons is kind of you know all the place. He said the other son got rules that he trades by. The dad, I saw the setups, what they did to come out rules, he didn't trade them. You know, I know people don't want to hear that. I say, man, look, we we live in a we live in a you know rule based society. The rules are there for you know reason. That 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 stop sign is there for a reason. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, stop at the stop sign. Mm -hmm. Stop at the stoplight. Mister, you know when it's you know you know you no know, time to go, then go. Mm -hmm. And so I said, mm -hmm. I, when I when I, I I'm telling you. I watched that video and I I just wrote down my rules. You know, sometimes they you know they they kind of change a little bit, not a whole lot. But, but what but but what doesn't change is I want to see triple arrows on the weekly. I want to see the trend already going. I want that trend to already be going, uh, and I like to get in on that first pullback. But I will trade that. I I. I I will trade like I did on Euro JPY. Uh, you know what I mean? I will right. trade this move, this this move back. You know, you know, okay, because I'm I'm confident, and this is just this is how it is. It has to breathe. This thing took off and it made a 500, 600 pip move. It's got to fall about two, three hundred pips. It's got to and keep going up. And then do this move again. You see what I'm saying? That's just that's just how the market works. It it, it it's not gonna do this. It it's not it, it's not gonna do this. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> like no. I wish it did. The <laughs> minute you step and step. I, yeah, it's gonna have to. When he introduced that stab match, I said, "Oh yeah, you can step." But I still do my I still do my trend line. I want to see that line. I want to see that zone. When Euro JPY did this fake move here, I'm I'm serious. It had oh, it had a weekly and monthly level sitting right here. That's like a steel wall. Market makes I don't care nothing about that wall. It pierced it. It took them dots out. The scene the folk messaging me. Oh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? I said, did it break the trend line? It would have kind of pierced it. Next candle. You said the channel did, don't you? That was a fake move, guys. I showed them. I said, look, it's making a bearish falling wedge. They said, what is that? I said, man, study that market structure, man, please. Study that market structure. Because it will keep you out of a lot of trouble. Out of a lot of trouble. So that's what I got, guys. I mean, hope that helps. Like yes. I say, if you want, if yeah, you want, I appreciate you, you man. No problem. If you guys want some of that, the free materials I have, like I say, I don't charge nobody for nothing. I'd rather, like I said, I get stuff from all over the place. I'd rather just give it to you. You know, somebody gave it to me. Right. You can have it. This is a five, was it five trillion dollar a day? No, 6.6. 6.6 .6. 6 .6 trillion dollars. It went up. It went up. It, yeah, it, went, need, up. it went up. It went up. <laughs> I don't need 6.6 .6 trillion. I would love to have hundred thousand dollars a month, though. <laughs> I love to have that. <laughs> That's right. Hundred, That's right. Hundred, you, 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 That's crazy. Hey James, uh, this is being recorded, right? Do what now? It's been what? This is this is recorded. I I, I would love to see this again. Man, yeah, I don't think record. I pushed the record yet. Some, some, somebody said they were. Somebody recording. said they was taping. That guy was. Yeah. He gonna, yeah, he gonna send me the link, and I you know, and I you know, share it. Thank you, man. Okay, good deal. Good deal.
Yeah, we can yeah. study some more. <laughs> well, yeah, I will. Like I, like, I, like I say, I'm going to work on my live feeds, whatever. This is new to me. And uh, I I can't, I, I, like I say, my, my work schedule, our days, our graveyards. So I can't promise you guys lives every week, but you go to my channel. And, I'll, and I'm on my channel, my weekly, my weekly, you no, know, breakdown is basically basically the same. Step one, I go to the weekly time frame. I want to see triple arrows on the weekly time frame. I want to then I then I draw my zones. Then I then I want to see after that, I want to see it either break the trend line or like I'm playing a pullback on Euro JPY. Those on here. If you want to wait till this move ends right here and gets to this area right here, hey man, you can get in here with me. We can get this 700 pip move. Ooh, I'm, I'm just, let's get this money, y'all. Yeah, I'm telling y'all, we can. You can get on here with me. I say, you know, you want to join my Telegram group? I got a Telegram group that I only talk here. I don't like. I don't like all that chatter. I'm giving <laughs> my my opinion. <laughs> it's what it's, I'm looking at. So if you if you want to join my Telegram group, uh, I don't know how I can I can I don't know how I can I can you know uh, share. You can it with you me. can put it in your YouTube description. I'll uh, put it in YouTube description. Yeah, yeah. And you know, I, like I say, I'm only on Euro JPY, man. I'm, I'm only. Is everyone in this group is super easy? What now? Is everyone in this group is super easy? Maybe a good majority, I'm thinking. Okay. I mean, it, oh, okay. it doesn't matter to me. What yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm super easy. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Love super easy. Okay. You know, I, it, it, you know, it you know, doesn't matter to me, you know, if you are or, you know, not. It's a, it's enough, it's a, it's a big pie as you want to slice. Mm -hmm. it. I want to, I want to, I want a hundred, I want a hundred thousand dollar a month slice. <laughs> That's it. That's all I want. Sounds good to me. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So many people think they're gonna become millionaires in six months. Right. Ooh, man. Well, with crazy. this strategy, it it can be done super easy. <laughs> it takes patience. Mm -hmm. It just yeah. takes patience. Mm -hmm. I, you hey, know, James, I'll, huh? Can you explain the thirteen trades to the six figures? Let me see if I can pull that. Uh, you know what? Let me see if I can pull that. Uh, spreadsheet up. Hold on. Give me, give me, give me, give me one here. Hey, Richard, Richard, mute yourself, Richard, mute yourself. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay. Here we go. Uh, shit, wrong thing. Um, oh, here we go. Files. Compound this issue. Uh, I don't have it. Oh, wait a minute. Is that it right there? Uh, mm, this thing gonna open up for me. Jesus. It should be on your computer. I think you're down. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, I thought I, I thought you might have like a picture of it or something. Uh, -uh. I, I actually don't. I'm not the most computer savvy. <laughs> so let me see. Yeah, here we go. Okay, this is this is it. This is a thousand. I wish I wish you said five hundred. Uh, hold on. Let me let me find it. You know what? I do have I do have a, I do have a picture of it. Uh, as well, yeah, is that one right there? I think you sent me that one before too. Yes, here we go. So basically, ignore that twelve twenty five. Wow, five hundred dollar, five hundred dollar balance. Mm. Percent starting out. Your first lot size is a dollar fifty. Two hundred pips, eight hundred dollar balance. Now you slide over here. Now of course. It's not gonna be this cut and dry. You might get 150 pips. I mean, you might, you know, who who knows? You know what I mean? What you, I mean, this is if in a in a perfect world, this is third. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13 trades, you had $140,000. Your monthly income could easily be 84 grand. That's just 13 trades away. I mean, 13 that's not trades. That's hard. That's not wow. hard at all. 13. <laughs> right, right now, I'm sitting right in, I'm at 60, $6,300. I'm sitting right in between here. So what I do close, is man. When, I'm, you close. when I'm when I'm in between balances, I take twenty five. I take the kind of the kind of the medium. So I'm at twenty dollars a pill right now on my on the on the current trade. Mm. And so my goal is I'm hoping to get around here by the by by July. I get here by July. I turn fifty in August. It's gonna be a happy birthday. <laughs> I'm going. I I will I will be in the Bahamas for my birthday, sitting on the beach, doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> and I y'all and I see y'all later. I see y'all back. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm not a drink. I won't. I won't be drinking nothing but probably some you know fruit punch. I'll be laying on the beach. Right. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> I mean, but you, but you, and. I like I I I I I'll tell people this when I when I some somebody somebody actually you know actually made this for me it's actually on Excel so you know I I, I paid with some balances and someone just said put in five hundred dollars six percent because you can change the principal the 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 percentage you can train and you can change the pip count that's the stuff you you know kind of changes as you you know you know as you change those you know, you know uh, numbers. Put in five hundred, six percent, two hundred pips at this trading trading this style. Two hundred pips isn't isn't hard to get. It's just right, it's right, just right. not. And I was okay, like, good. man, at thirteen trades, I could be at one hundred and forty thousand. It blew my mind. So I thought about this. I said, if you simply do one trade, I, and I know it's slow, I know it's you want to jump in there and get it quick. But think about making 2020 the year that you change your family's life. Right, right. You tell your family, say, look, I just sit tight with me. Hold on, uh, uh, Lower, give me one minute, man. Just, you take your family, hold on one sec. I'm a, I'm a 2021, and all, it's gonna be a, it's, <laughs> we're gonna change the game. Yeah. We're gonna change the game. Yes. Okay, great. Thank you, sir. Thank you. God, I know, you know, and and you know, I I I, I I'm so locked in on getting this done. Y'all have no idea. I got a 19 year old in college, 15 year old who think he Bruno Mars and want to be on stage. He's <laughs> giving my grades. So he stage. And, and, they, and they both wear size 14. They six two and six three. Oh they, man, like horses. <laughs> <laughs> and so I gotta, you know, I'm my, my mindset is I gotta set these guys up. Right. That's you know right. What I, mean? I mm -hmm. cannot leave these two guys with that. I can't I, I just can't do yes. it. Can't do it. I, I got to break the debt cycle in my family. It, it yeah, I was thinking the same me. thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We got to break you. the debt cycle in our families. We can't walk around here with all this credit card debt, this house note, car, yes, you know? sir. Ooh, everything we got to get paid it. for. Get it out, yeah. We got to get some yes. assets, some stocks, mm -hmm. some dirt, some. You know what I mean? Right. Real estate. Real estate. Right. I, I right. tell. I, I know. I'm not a. I'm not a big spender. I tell people, man, stop standing in lines for Jordans and go buy some Nike stock. Right. Stop it's standing in lines for Michael Jordan tennis shoes. And buy the stock. Go ahead. Somebody Somebody talk to you, Jay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, James. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. okay. So, uh, what is the leverage uh, set at? By the way, I, I'm just wondering because I got mine is leverage doesn't matter. Leverage has no bearing on balance. Mine is at one to two hundred. Right. Mm -hmm. My mind's at fifty to one because I'm using IG. Yeah, I mean oh, that's even better. That's even better. You only borrowing fifty bucks. I'm borrowing two hundred for every dollar. Mr. James? Yes. This is Kazim from Nigeria. Yes, sir. How you doing, sir? I'm fine. Don't wait on. 
please, concerning this six percent risk, I want I need to I need clarity on it. If okay. I'm risking six percent of five hundred, mm -hmm. that means if I'm risking six percent of five hundred, that means thirty dollars. Is that, that correct? What? No, no, dollar fifty a pip. This is this is the pip right here, dollar fifty. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Dollar fifty pips. Yes. 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 Right. Yes. Yes. Thir yeah, thirty bucks. So yes. what I'm saying now is that that means my stop loss will not be 20, 20 pips. Well, when I when I when I, I I I use this as a as a guide. I don't. It's it's not etched in stone. So when I when when I see a trade with the with the with the with the with the possible three hundred four hundred pips, okay, top loss is like sixty pips. Okay, you know what I'm saying? fantastic. Okay, right. I understand now. Yeah, okay. I'm not. It, this is this is not. It's not gospel. You know what I mean? Okay. I just I use it as a guide. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Understand now. Okay. You know, like I say, I'm trading with the weekly. The weekly is a that's that's just what a trend is. Okay. You know what I'm saying? When you when you see people, and I say I ain't knocking nobody's style. You see people down on the hour time frame. They're catching put the, the 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 thirty to fifteen an hour to me. They move too much. There's too much movement. It's just too much. I rather I rather go to the weekly and catch the and and catch the trend reversal. Trend reversals at the weekly. That's where the I showed you guys right. That's where the big moves yeah. are. Yes, 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 yes. That's what a weekly to weekly three hundred, four hundred. I, sometimes a thousand pip moves are on the are at the weekly reversals. You just have to you have to wait for them for the move. It may it, unfortunately it may take two weeks. Right. It just so it, you know, it causes you to avoid all the noise and all the exactly stuff. <laughs> it, it 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 forces you to say you know what I'm gonna wait because I got a possible five hundred pip move coming up. Mm -hmm. Five hundred pip move coming up. You know what I mean? I, I, one guy, like I said, Yusef Scott, they call him the Forex Goat. I watched this guy make 140 grand in two weeks. Mm, mm, mm. And he, and the first thing he talked about, he said, guys, I'm very patient. He showed two of his trades, made 140 grand. And, I, and when, I, when, I, when I say the dollar amount, I, I, I'm, I really care. I really talk, I really want to talk about the skill set and the pimps. The, Dollar amount is gonna come. You know what I mean? If you trade in that, you know, you know, you know, you know, point zero two twenty cent a trade, kind of master the skill set. You master the skill set, the money gonna come. It's, it's, it doesn't it's, change. It. Yeah. Go ahead. No, I was saying. I was saying it doesn't change. I was just saying it, it, it doesn't. Change. Right. Yeah. I mean, you think about a guy like Michael. I mentioned Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan practiced and practiced and practiced. He didn't change what he did and won six championships. You know what I'm saying? He it's just it's just doing the same thing over and over. I go back to past video where he, he stressed patience and consistency. He stressed. He was when I I was at work one night. I tell you a quick, quick story. I was at work one night. wasn't doing nothing. I was on YouTube. I see some pop up on my thing, super easy forex. I said, man, what is it? Somebody, come on, man, super easy forex, really? <laughs> I didn't even, I didn't even see the trading system. His video was about patience. Mm -hmm. I said, man, right. he's the first guy, first person I've seen in the forex game about mindset. Everybody else is pushing indicators and they trading style. I said, you know what? I bought the system without even seeing the system. We talked about mindset, and this was May of. When I got in Super Easy Forex in May of last year. It was 150 people in that chat room. How much is in? You know, how many is in there now? Mm -hmm. I've been in that, you know, you know, in months. But it's 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 you know it's growing. Hey, but, it's probably 1100, 1200. Right. up there. Hey, but mindset is the biggest hurdle. That's the biggest hurdle in life, really. It's, it's just mindset. So I said, you know what I'm going to do? I, got, I went home and I wrote my rules down. You see those 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 quotes, I, 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 you know, those little sayings? 
I look at those sayings I probably every day. Mm -hmm. Hey man, be patient, James. Wait, man. I, and I had talked to myself. I told me, don't jump in the market too. I used to, I used to get in the market on Sundays. That's crazy. <laughs> the bank ain't, ain't open on Sunday. Yeah. People, I literally the, the market open up at four or five o'clock. I'm looking to get in the market. I'm like, man, come on, man. Really? Now, psh, some days I don't, I don't even look at my charts. Fear are missing out. Fear are missing out. Yeah, it's not even because because the move isn't even there yet. Nothing's mm -hmm. nothing's nothing going on. I just wait. Like I say I go to that daily, guys, and I draw that trend line. I draw that counter trend line. That counter trend line keeps me from being put out of my house by my wife. <laughs> I mean, look, look, at, look, at, look at this. You look at this, right? It's still selling. As long as it didn't, didn't.